We have the dope dad himself. That's right, Rico Lamite, who just moved into his new home where he doesn't have to fight the internet gangbangers anymore, and he might actually have some more fiber in his diet. What do you have to say, dope dad, Rico Lamite? Uh, so my story is one coming out of coming out of Washington State, and it's all about pesticides. All right, so on Thursday, last Thursday, April 6th, Washington State Liquor and Cannabis Board sent out an alert notifying a number of cannabis licensees of a pattern of pesticide testing failures in Okanagan County. The WSLCB uh, detected 18 instances of products containing dichloro, uh, definyl, dichlorothylene, or more commonly known as DDE, through random pesticide testing, many exceeding which led to the agency taking immediate action by placing administrative lead uh, holds on licensees in the affected geographic area, requesting a list of all products distributed since August 2022, securing and testing on shelf products from all 18 licensees, and requiring they conduct a licensee initiated recall on everything on their shelves. DDE is a derivative chemical that forms following the breakdown of the infamous DDT widely used in the U.S. as a pesticide until it was banned in 1972. The CDC says microorganisms in the soil slowly break down DDT in a process taking anywhere between 4 to 30 years. Risk of, uh, for exposure is low, and most occur from eating contaminated foods. People that, is, that swallow large amounts report nausea, uh, seizures, and no effects were noticed when people took a small dose over the course of 18 months. But people with higher levels of the chemical in their blood have an increased risk of liver cancer. Harris Bricken reported that there seems to be ample evidence of DDT being widely used in Washington, um, particularly in orchards and vineyards on the eastern slope of the Cascades. According to a tw uh, 2008 research paper investigating DDT and DDE levels in Lake Chelan, uh, Washington DDT was commonly used at Washington orchards uh, between 1946 and 1970 with high application rates uh, being documented for eastern Washington orchards in the vicinity of Lake Chelan. For reference, Omak, the largest city in Okanagan County, is around 60 miles from that area. The DDE exposure occurred because producers in Okanagan County are dealing with uh, the reemergence of pre-existing latent DDT on their properties. They stated in its alert, the cannabis crop possesses a unique vulnerability with respect to environmental contamination. The plants can absorb contaminants such as pesticides and heavy metals to a much higher degree than many other plants. And per the article, Washington State enacted a pesticide and heavy metals testing regime for cannabis in March 2022, listing 59 allowable pesticide compounds and their acceptable thresholds that cannabis products must be screened for before being sold. DDT and its derivative DDE are not contained on the list of compounds that are screened for. However, the state conducts random testing of cannabis products and has done so for years, and this is how they found it. Putting subjects through a considerably more compre comprehensive process than the mandatory testing required by the industry. Harris Bricken says 18 licenses within the affected area will have a tough time surviving the administrative action being taken by the state, given the historically widespread use of DDT in the region, that at least some of the soil samples in the uh, WSLCB plan will take uh, to take will come back contaminated. The result will be administrative holds on all 18 licensees and whatever comes next is up in the air. While the recall is good to the the to the point less folks are likely to get sick as a result. The problem here seems to be the pesticide screening protocols seen as standard currently in Washington's industry. With the WSLCB conducting their own more stringent methods, they detected more than what the industry is capable of currently. It's an in interesting and unfortunate event for all involved, but I've got questions maybe some of y'all can help me out with here. Uh, while 18 licensees stand to lose their ability uh, to operate in any capacity moving forward, how many will suffer the same fate in the future? Um, is this just a Washington State problem, or is this something that can and will happen elsewhere? And finally, is it government overreach with the state coming down and putting their testing limits on these cannabis companies? Uh, do the licensees have the right to appeal here? So uh, political corruption uh, can come in all forms, but this is public health and safety. This is Rico Lamit, dopest dad on the street.
And I'd love to hear from the rest of you guys. What do you think about this one? 